the angry saint of alternative veterinary medicine? Here's why I don't care what Google says about me. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. Then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. A subscriber said, Dr. Jones, doesn't it bother you when you go on Google, you search your name and you see a whole bunch of unkind things said about you? So I go to Google. I put in the name Dr. Andrew Jones. One of the first search results, Dr. Andrew Jones, the angry saint of alternative veterinary medicine or the search result titled True Confessions of a Veterinarian. Using Andrew Jones, a former Canadian veteran who surrendered his veterinary license to promote the segment, that speaks volume. Andrew Jones, the segment's lead narrator, is a former veterinarian who gave up his veterinary license. Those are all in the top search results. I'm gonna give you the one minute brief history. About 15 years ago, I first started publishing a regular newsletter on alternative veterinary practices. I was a practicing veterinarian, I owned a veterinary practice, and I was obviously subject to regulation by the College of Veterinarians. Over the course of a few years, they investigated many of the things I published. I was found guilty of violating numerous marketing bylaws, making claims that were unfounded, such as gasp ginger for treating nausea, criticizing the veterinary college. They said that Dr. Jones's marketing material is a serious example of his unprofessional behavior. They said that there was a pervading persistent theme of me denigrating other members of the profession in order to draw attention to myself. They claimed that my self laudatory statements, I was throwing the profession into disrepute. I was fined in excess of $30,000 and told that you need to pay those fines and you need to completely change the way that you're marketing your business. You can't say what you've been saying. You can't really discuss alternative remedies. You can't question veterinary practices. You really can't say a whole lot if you're gonna continue practicing as a veterinarian. So I chose to resign. Most of what I published in the newsletters, eventually I'm sharing home remedies for dogs and cats. It was critical when I felt things needed to be criticized, i.e. vaccines, i.e. pet food, etc. I resigned more than anything on a point of principle. I just didn't feel that it was right that this big governing body could essentially dictate, okay, yeah, you can practice a veterinarian, you can see animals, you can see clients, you can do what you're doing, but you know what? There's a whole bunch of things you can't say and you can't speak publicly. Following that, I was contacted by 2020, looking at veterinary fees, looking at veterinary upsells, and they asked, would I be available for an interview? I literally had thousands and thousands of pretty nasty hate emails directed to me. It was a long time ago. It's been well over 10 years since I've spayed a cat, neutered a dog. There's now this big YouTube channel, almost 850,000 subscribers, almost 600,000 followers on TikTok, over 300,000 followers on Facebook. There are well over 1,000 videos. Our business has grown. We've got a number of different supplements and I'm feeling pretty good. Back to the question, how is it that I can put my name in YouTube, see some pretty negative things come up, still feel okay? More than anything, number one is feeling good what I'm personally doing. Being able to help so many different people with their dogs and cats, pet parents like yourself leaving positive comments. Just the word of thanks, it goes so far. I really like learning about new remedies, you know, alternative ways to treat disease. And I like doing this, I like doing videos. And every single day, we get a whole bunch of super supportive, positive, helpful, thankful, grateful, you name it, uplifting comments. The other thing I find really helpful is not reading the negative comments, not dwelling on the negative comments, not internalizing. I focus on the positive one. I focus on the 95% of you who are really happy with what I'm saying, with what you're hearing. Some things I say you don't agree with. You respond respectfully. Great. I'm glad to hear it. I know we've helped so many different pet parents and we're going to help so many different more. And really that's what's keeping me going. If I hadn't said it before, I should be saying it again. Thank you for being a supporter. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets of why I don't give a damn of what they say about me on Google. Click up there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.